Yo, yeah, what's going on my dudes and do that's just a quick update on this video and why I'm doing the video message. I had some issues when it came to doing pre-production earlier this week, which is the reason why I wanted to put a little more time in this video. So for starters, when I was recording this video, a lot of the video quality was desaturated. It's due to the fact that Samsung released a new update for the phone where everything on their video software defaulted on HDR10. So if, for those who don't understand what HDR10, it's just like another high fidelity level crushing whites and blacks to make things a little bit more pop out and vibrant when you're using an HD TV that supports 4K or 8K. I don't really have much use for that feature. It just makes things look really awkward. But anyway, when I was working on the video, everything was desaturated and then certain areas on the video end up having like a weird green block on it. I don't know if it has something to do with my graphics card or just an issue with the video coding on the editing software I use, which is Movie Studio Platinum 15 and 17. So you'll start noticing some weird desaturation in the very early part of the video and then it'll improve later on. So other than that, just wanted to give you guys a quick message and thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy. This video is proudly sponsored by Newtype. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewtypeHQ.com and use the link below to help this channel out for future builds. Hey, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and welcome back to the final build of the Endless Waltz series from Bendai Japan. So why don't we get started with the 1-100 scale Master Grade XXG000 Wing Gundam 0 EW Verka. And without further ado, let's get to it. Yo, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and thank you so much for coming back to watch another exciting build from the good folks from Bendai Japan and if this is your first time to this YouTube channel, welcome. So we are literally down to the last EW model kit. Now I know there's a Tall Geese 3 out there but we are focusing on Operation Meteor. I mean we built Def Sai, Heavy Arms, Sand Rock, Ultron and now we're down to Wing Gundam Zero. Now I know this kit came out last year. A lot of Gundam channels that specialize in this kind of stuff really wanted to capitalize on that. Me personally, I just really, really want to enjoy and take my time building this kit because this is the first time I build a Wing Gundam Zero. So without further ado, we are gonna be building Wing Gundam Zero Mobile Suit Endless Waltz Verka. Now you guys know what the Verka means. Lots of cool articulations and tons of tons of water slide decals, which I am a super big fan of that. But most importantly, it is so cool to revisit this mobile suit after building the perfect grade almost three years ago. And now what I'm taking what I've learned from that kit, building the Proto Wing Gundam a couple of months back, and now building this, it's a full circle, so I'm super excited. First side of the promotional box, you get a nice shot of the weapon accessories, as well as a front and back side. And at the same time, get you a nice tight information on what you can do for like knee articulation and at the same time leg articulation it's probably the best i have seen from this series and it's on caliber what you would see from like a perfect grade on the other side you get a nice shot of the flight unit when you transform the guy into its respectable pose and at the same time you get a nice description on what you need and don't need for this mobile suit which is not glue as always phenomenal box art but inside that box we are happily greeted with the instruction manual for the first time in a long time we are going to get two different unique color separations for a particular mobile suit this case is going to be two different shifts of blues. One's like a medium blue, one's like a dark blue. But inside the first page, you get a beautiful spread of dynamic poses that you can pull off like you would see in the actual anime, giving a small glimpse of Mr. Hero, the actual pilot of the mobile suit, and a tons and tons of spreads of dynamic poses that you can put this guy into. I mean, very impressive compared to building from the perfect raid and then the previous master that came out many years ago. It's very impressive. Nice page gives you a good glimpse of an action base, which is great. Definitely justifies the price tag for this amazing model kit and the very bottom gives you a good glimpse on what the engineering team had to go through when they were designing this particular mobile suit. As for the upper right hand corner more promotional work for the Wing Gundam Zero which is absolutely nice. Next page gives you a complete rundown of how to construct the wing structures for this mobile suit and at the same time really showing how much they just really did their research to make this guy work and the very bottom how to construct the action base and more sexy dynamic poses and finally on the last page how to construct the weapon accessories and how to put this guy properly properly on the action base without damaging it. But finally, we get a nice spread of a color chart to do some custom painting if you choose to do so, as well as how to paint Hiro from the actual Mobile Suit Gundam cartoon series, as well as a complete guide and chart on how to apply the water slide decals because there are a lot for this little dude and it's absolutely satisfying to do this for 
this particular model kit. So overall, very impressive. Some promotional work for the actual Gundam model kit toys. I'm not going to need that. Followed by a handful of right runners. Now these runners are very impressive. Probably because of the fact I'm thinking in the mindset when I built the Perfect Great Gundam three years ago. The surface detail was good, but it definitely wasn't on to par what I'm seeing here. I mean, it is very, very impressive what they were able to do with something this small. I mean, look at the detail of the wings. Very impressive. And these are only for the inner part of the wing section. Very, very, very nice. Next runners up, we're going to get a small assortment of like, I, was, I believe, violet blue pieces, but they're on the dark blue spectrum, I would say. Tons and tons of interframe pieces. Now, this is extremely crucial to pull off those awesome dynamic poses, but at the same time, these runners are definitely here to really pull off the transforming gimmick to turn into flight mode. I'm pretty sure it's called a different term, but I'm just going to call it a flight mode. It just looks really cool. Flying chicken, we'll just call it that. Followed by medium blue runners pieces and a small selection of clear pieces. we got the one for the jewel of the front part, the eyes, and I believe you get these two little triangular shapes. These are for the wrist sections of the mobile suit. And then to top it off, the camera section for the head, more blue pieces, which are a little bit on the light spectrum. So you get a nice contrast between a light and dark blue section, followed by a hefty amount of yellow runners, which I have to say, very, very nice, very easy to not lose. I get brought to you that. And then last and finally, you're going to get some sticker decals for the, I believe, the B Magnum, the shield, the eyes, and the camera module, and a small, hefty selection of red runners, which I absolutely love. That pretty much wraps things up for this particular mobile suit, man. But last and finally, we need to talk about the water slide decals and the action base. These decals can be extremely intimidating for someone who has built their very first fur cost series but for me it is always welcome when it comes to building a mobile suit because i love working with water slide decals and last and finally we're going to talk about the action base now this is something you can buy separately i believe it's like 20 or 30 dollars depending on where you purchase it but it's nice that bendai actually included with this mobile suit well the journey comes to an end finally and we are going to be building the last of the gundam wing series and i have to say i'm very excited to get started building this dude As always, before I get started to build this mobile suit, I need to take the time and evaluate which areas I really want to tackle first. Normally, I love to tackle the head first because it's like the best part of the mobile suit, but it would make sense to focus my attention on the legs and the arms because they have tons and tons of interframe pieces that would definitely require a lot of love and attention. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to cut all those runners out and separate them accordingly so that when I go to the spray booth, I can get started painting. You will take over my mind Cause I've been lost But I'm giving you all of my time Isn't that good enough? Changing my patterns a lot Yeah, I never thought I'd be sitting here wrapped in your arms So let go of the things you hear I'm not going anywhere without you So put a little faith in me though you're scared Though you're scared 
Alright, now that we got the legs fully assembled, we need to focus our attention is on the clear runners. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but the, the instruction manual already gives you a hefty amount of sticker decals to cover these areas up so that way you don't have to deal with this hassle. Me personally, I like to go the extra step. So what I'm gonna end up doing is cut these pieces out right after I hit them up with a nice Tamiya clear blue and green, and then I'll be sticking a Pico green LED light behind those selected areas. Now, first and foremost, we need to use Tamiya clear blue and clear green. Now this is gonna be kind of tricky you gotta work with the kind of right kind of color temperatures like right here this is my first attempt it came off a little bit more greenish blue when it should be more bluish green and after giving it a little bit more of attempts i got the right kind of color consistency that i wanted onto this particular runners now to get this correctly done you need to apply at least two to four coats of this particular clear solution so that we get the right kind of consistency then when you get the right kind of consistency you want to hit that area with tamiya flat coat and at least four to three coats the reason why I'm going with this method is to create some form of light diffusion because these LED lights are very bright. But at the same time, I wanna have a nice color temperature shift between blues and greens and make it look really cool. Once I get like at least four to five coats on there, then it's good to go. And then you can apply them onto the designated runners.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you're ready to get down, bring your friends. Meet me at midnight. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Down on your knees, you're begging, please. You want it? My love's like fire. Yeah, it'll leave you burning. Down on your knees, you're begging, please. You want it? My love's so sweet, sweet as. If you think that you got it, hands up, put your money where your mouth is. If you think that you got it.
no sweet on me We can cook up, we can stir up When we hook up just you My dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this mobile suit. So first and foremost, I just, I have to give Bendai a lot of love and credit for this. They knocked this out of the park. Holy cow. The one thing that was just absolutely blowing my mind every time I was constructing this guy was the articulation. They have a, an exposed hatch underneath the cap section that way you get like a full bend of the leg and then they added a, a, like an extra bonus of a, a toe bend for the leg section. I mean, holy cow, this is super impressive. I would love for them to take what they've learned from this mobile suit and then implemented it onto a potential uh, future revisit perfect grade, you know, an unleashed perfect grade wing Gundam Zero. It's definitely there. The clues are kind of there right in front of us. And it's just, oh, it was just super impressive what they were able to do with this model kit. And I just love that little attention to detail, man. And behind that, the wing sections. I don't quite remember that they were there in the, in the perfect grade, but these are heavily utilized way, way better to the point where you get less like breaking or less plastic fatiguing. It's just, incredible what they were able to do with such a small kit man very very impressive but probably by far my most favorite part of this model kit is the head section there are these two little sections like i guess you call it the ears of the mobile suit that have like these open exposing hatches that show another little white runner in between there i don't know why they added that but it looks so damn cool i don't it's, it's those little details i love and at the same time i think it's like a, a thank you letter to the fans and an apology to the people that have built the perfect grade, the real grade, and the previous master grade many years ago. Like, hey, we heard your complaints, and we're gonna do something, something even more with the next Vercock kit. Just give us some time, and we will definitely deliver. And those dudes did. Absolutely phenomenal job with that little attention to detail. But there is one notorious spot on this mobile suit that everyone was hitting me on Twitter and Instagram, and that is like the vent section in the torso area. It just falls off for no apparent reason. Everyone was letting me know that, hey, Otaku, but you gotta be very mindful of this section. It's very odd that they would implement this little feature there, but it keeps falling off every time I put it into flight mode. And lo and behold, they were absolutely right. It just, it's, I, I can't say it's a design flaw. It's more like a oops 
that we forgot about that I was there and they just kind of rolled with it. So there's really no function for it. It's just kind of like there for the sake of just being there. They could have just done one whole mold of it, but you know, it is what it is and it, it still doesn't look too bad, but you definitely had to keep a mind open to actually putting some super glue on that particular kit. So I, I guess that was just that one section they mentioned on the boxer that you might need glue and it is for that particular runner. So just be mindful of that and you'll be good. So thanks for the Instagrammers who let me know about that. You guys know who you are. I mean, you guys know who you are. Leave a comment down below. You know I'm terrible with names. But anyway, is this kit really worth the purchase? Here's the thing. Bendai is well known to make more and more of the same variants every year. Every so like couple of months, they're always making the same thing. <coughs> Unicorn Gundam. Oh God. Uh, oh, sniffles. But you know what I mean? <laughs> they're, they're, they're always trying to revamp the wheel. The wheel's already perfected, but it's the little, little details that they add to it that make that wheel even more modern looking. And you can absolutely see it because I remember being plagued with so much like frustration building the perfect grade because the inner frame, which was good at the time, had so many flaws with it. But what they took from that and implied it onto this one, man, it is night and day. On top of that revamping the inner frame to make it accessible to turn into the flight mode, mwah, perfection. Love that little detail. I would hope, and I really do hope one day that this particular kit does get the uh, the titlement for the Unleashed series. It would be really, really cool. Heck, it would be really nice to see even maybe one of the Endless Waltz kits, maybe Ultron or Death Side, get the same kind of treatment. It would be really, really cool. Granted, it wouldn't be much of like a big difference besides making like really cool surface detail, but you know, only time will tell. But with that, pick up this kit you will absolutely have a blast building it. I know I did, and you guys will too. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being patient, and a big thank you to the new subscribers that came in last month. You guys are phenomenal. And with that being said, I will catch you dudes and dudettes on the next build.